Hi everybody and welcome back to Nellie and Ruth Designs. I feel like I've been gone forever. Um, I'm happy to show you today some books that I have purchased over the last couple weeks, but I've taken a little bit of time um, for myself, not really for me, but to get some things done around my house. Um, I'm sure you saw in the last, my last installment video, a, a tour of my potting shed. So I was out last week working in my potting shed, and as I believe I had explained in the video, I have a lot of birds that build nests in my windows. I crack them open in the spring after a long winter, and I leave them open, and then the birds come, and they build nests <clears throat> on top between the um, windows and the screens and on top of the windows and on the windowsills. So I don't do anything until all the babies have flown the nest. Um, and then I do a good cleaning, but it had been a couple years. So it took me quite a while to get the windows in shape. Um, I used a steam cleaner and then just good old fashioned elbow grease to do the rest. So I decided that I needed to take some time to do some special projects around my house. I have not been crafting, although I'd love to craft, but I figured if I can get my, if my house is in order, you know what they say, if your house is in order, then everything else comes, um, follows along in suit and you can move on. So, but on Saturday, I went, my husband and I went to a used bookstore in the town next to us, which I, I didn't even know about. And it was a joy. So between that bookstore I ordered a book off of eBay and I went to my local Hobby Lobby. I wanted to show you what I've acquired and some of the prices because they were just so good. So thanks for joining in. And um, if you're a new subscriber, I really appreciate it. I'm having a lot of fun with my videos. And I promise anybody that's new um, that it has signed up, I will be doing more crafting videos. But for now, go back and watch some of my other ones, my my series that I have. Um, I have a lot out there, so it'll take you some time to catch up anyways. And for everybody returning, welcome back. Uh, so let's get started. Um, let, I'm going to just set these aside for a minute. And I think I'll start with the Hobby Lobby um, item I picked up. We'll do Hobby Lobby and we'll do eBay first. Now, um, one of these I found, let's do, let's do the eBay one first. This book here I found from Susan Taylor Brown and I follow Susan on, uh, YouTube and she has a wonderful channel. If you haven't seen her artwork or her, the projects she do, she, she does, she do, um, she really keeps it real. And I really enjoy Susan's videos. So it's Susan Taylor Brown, and I'll put her link in my description. But she had done a book review of some of her favorite books to work in. And this was one of them. It's the Complete Handbook of Garden Plants by Michael Wright. And she did say it was small, and it is, but it's perfect. Um, this measures um, oh, just shy. Well, it's about seven and three quarters by five and a half and this is a wonderful book i can't remember what i paid for this on ebay i think it was between eight and ten dollars i try not to go over ten dollars if i don't have to um, but if it's a book you know that i really really want i may do the 10 but i think this might have been under ten dollars it might have been eight and i did get free shipping so this is a really cool book and it's wonderful if you work with slide film uh, you make slide film ephemera if you have you know you make pocket folders because the little pictures in here are just perfect for that and the one thing that susan brought to my attention when she showed this book was that all the flower pictures are on a, on one side. So you're not flipping and say if this was over here and trying to decide 
which page am I going to use? I'm going to lose flowers. This book is worth its weight in gold just because of that. Um, all the flowers, all the flower illustrations are on one side. They're all on the right-hand side of this book. And they are just wonderful. Yesterday, I took, actually took this out. I was sitting outside around my pool because it came in the mail yesterday. And uh, I figure I'm going to try, because this is a beautiful book. I mean, I get these books, and then I often wonder, why am I cutting it? Because it's a wealth of knowledge. And a lot of these flowers in here I've either had or I do have. And uh, it's just, it's marvelous. So I think what I'm going to do with this book is the flowers that I have had, I'm going to retype or maybe I'll make a photocopy of what's in here. And I'm going to put them, I'm going to fussy cut the flowers, and I'm actually going to put them in my gardening journal. Um, because it is just a marvelous book. And I was so excited to sit down and look at this. So you have all your flowers. Um, and they do come in categories like this is bulbs corms and tubers it's just a wonderful wonderful this is border and um, bedding perennials it's a wonderful resource book so I hate to cut it up too much but I figured and I'm to the point where if I can get two copies, I should get two copies, one for myself for reference and to put in my potting shed or just to have here in the house and then one that I can cut. So I just wanted to show you this because this is a beautifully illustrated book of all of your um, flowers, plants, trees, shrubs, your flowering shrubs and this would be a really fun book um, to create your ephemera with trees and shrubs and what do we have here I think it starts with trees so there's a big tree and shrub section and these are these are just wonderful for for your nature nature photos if you have other photos of um, wild animals chipmunks squirrels so that's that book there, The Complete Handbook um, of Garden Plants by Michael Wright. And like I said, I found mine on eBay. This normally goes for $18.95. So I either got it for $10 or less, but I got free shipping as well. So then I was in Hobby Lobby last week. I had some time to kill between a doctor's appointment and going to get my girls at the groomer. So I actually went into Hobby Lobby looking for some acetate and I walked out with two books by Ruth Chow Simons um, because they had a 40 and 50 percent off this was a little bit more it was $14.99 and I did ask when I saw one of the clerks walking by if it was 50 percent off the $14.99 or if this was the price she said this was the price um, it normally sells for $30 so but this book here, I, I did buy two. I splurged on this. I had a gift card from my girlfriend at Christmas time. And I did end up paying $8 after using the gift, gift card because I had used the gift card one other time because um, that was for $35. So this book reminds me of Edith Holden. Uh, Ruth Chow Simons. Her illustrations remind me a little bit of Edith Holden. And the the color and the images are a lot like, I think, um, similar to your Edith Holden, The Country Diary of an Edwardian Lady. Um, so that's why I like this book. So, and I am, I'm very happy that I bought two because either in the morning when I'm having my coffee or at night, when I am um, just before I go to bed and I'm I get settled in bed with my reading book I'll read a chapter in here and the chapters aren't very long but 
it's a wonderful book and look at these illustrations so like i said one book i did purchase to cut and then the other one i have as a daily um, reading of her take on the lord and um there's different um verses in here from the books in the Bible, and it's a wonderful, wonderful, it's a very lovely book. So I'm enjoying it both ways, um, reading it, and I'll be using this to use in my journals. Like, look at this image here of the, of the mountains and the um, poppies, which I'm a hiker. Well, I was a hiker. I still plan on hiking. This would be wonderful in my scrapbook. So let me just flip through here. There's a picture of Ruth Chow Simons. And she does have other books. Um, if you go on Amazon, you will find them. But I believe they're all for full price. So if you have a Hobby Lobby, scoot in your Hobby Lobby and see what they have there. That's a beautiful page. And pages like this would be wonderful to make um, envelopes with or um, tags, journaling cards. So I want to show you enough. There's beautiful koi fish. Uh, I want to show you enough of what's in this book so you get a good idea. Look at those lilies. Those are beautiful. So I really like her illustrations in her paintings these fox gloves this would be beautiful in the corner you could just fussy cut a little bit around that use that in a journal and this would also if you're into bible journaling um, you can make a beautiful bible journal with this book isn't that beautiful has these beautiful, you know, sayings here. So you could put them in your Bible journal. So this is a lovely, lovely book. Look at those beats. And the messages in here, um, if you're a follower of Christ, the messages are wonderful. And she just, you know, puts a little spin on things to really, you know, make you think about your day or what you're doing, um, where you're going. Isn't that pretty? So I'm hoping that Hobby Lobby gets some of her other books in. And I'm even thinking that, isn't this, this is very nice. Um, I'm even thinking if, you know, maybe they could order her other books for me. Um, just lovely, really pretty illustrations. I have some scrapbook paper almost like that. So that would be uh, really pretty to add the scrapbooking here we have all the little the little bugs and beetles. And I think she really does um, a wonderful job illustrating, you know, the point she's trying to make in her message. So this is the book here that you can buy at your Hobby Lobby if you have one. And um, the, again, the illustrations are just gorgeous and it is it is it is a nice everyday worship. So this is Ruth Chow Simons. So that's that. And then these are the books that I was able to obtain at the used bookstore. Now this book here is quite large, it's quite thick. Um, 
and just this right here alone is beautiful. And I was able to purchase this for $8. And let's see, what did this, this is a $35 book. So I'm very excited. I think once a month I'm going to go back to the bookstore to see if any new um, books have arrived. And they're all in wonderful condition. So these are these are a little bit bigger. These are almost like a plate. Um, but these are very, very pretty illustrations. Some are, you know, just have the wording on the back side. As you saw in that other one, there is, I think this might be the only one that, and these are wonderful pages to use as well. Um, because they're a little bit thicker. These would make lovely envelopes. And then, um, isn't she cool? She's very cool. Um, then you could embellish and you could collage because it's a nice weight, nice weighted paper. And I think there's plenty of illustrations in here. Um, you know, the book has, I think, multiple purposes. And I believe I've got everything. I better check just to make sure that I do. Yeah, you're able to see everything. And then in the back of the book, there's a little bit more. There's a little bit newer... Um, photography which are still lovely you can still work with them especially if you make a um, a tag and you collage around it so there's newer photography photos in the back and then you have your um, images again So I was very happy when I found this book. And again, you don't have to decide which image you're going to use because um, they were kind enough to just put wording on the back. So there's a little peek of the inside. Isn't that pretty? Look at that one. Um, of this book here, of these tulips. And that's Albert Tear. If you know who Albert Tear is, it's a picture of good old Al. So again, this is the tulip by Anna Pavord. Um, the story of a flower that has made men mad. So, and again, it's a very thick, Let's see, thick book, 439 pages with your index and all of that. So that one there, that's a nice book. The next one I purchased, and I'm, I don't think I'm going to cut this one up. Um, this is the Reader's Digest, 1001 Hints and Tips for Your Garden. I sat down... Uh, and I started this one. I he he took the he erased the price. This one was five dollars. Um, but I started looking through this, and it's just a wealth of knowledge. I mean, Reader's Digest. You can't go wrong with that. But I initially grabbed this book because it has all these miniature um, pictures in it, and they're perfect. And I don't have a slide film. I, I have one that's already. Um, I do a lot of the slide film type art and ephemera, but you can see it has a large enough opening where, oh my heavens, any of these would fit perfect in here. But once I got looking at it, I don't, I don't want to cut it up. I really, there's things that I, I mean, I've been gardening for 50 something years, um, and there's things in here that I, I just didn't know. So little tips and tricks. And so I, I have to really figure out what I'm going to do with this. But if I ever come across another one, I will get it um, so I can take these little images. And again, put them either in my gardening journal or, 
use them for my little slide films. But there's there's just too much um, knowledge in here and too many tips and tricks that I, I want to hang on to. Um, so if you're not into gardening and you are into ephemera and um, you're journaling, this would be a wonderful book for you to to get, especially with all the little all the little illustrations. So that's the Reader's Digest, 1001 Hints and Tips for Your Garden. So that one was a nice find. The next one is this cute little um, book, The Sweet Life Reflections of Home and Garden by Laura Stoddard. I had never heard of Laura Stoddard. I picked this book up because it reminds me, um, I can't think of the other author. Um, it's the same author that I made these little um, pieces from. And she does little tiny, tiny images, illustrations. And I love using them on these. And her work reminded me a lot can't think of the gal's name, but I have two of her books. Um, and I see her book over there, but I can't read it because of my eyes. So this book was $4.50. And look at this. This is the cutest little image. And I just love all of these little people. This one I'm definitely cutting up to use. There's a little person here sitting under the shade tree in a book it's actually a sycamore tree and then you have these wonderful little images of houses and federal buildings tent surface tent so there's a lot of fun fun images in here All these little books. And these are all little um, poems. And little quips and sayings. So these will be nice to cut out and put in, uh, in the journal. Gonna peeking out here behind the door. And this reminds me of when we were in Cleveland, we went to the Stan. Is it Stan Stan Hyatt um, house? I believe. Stan Hewitt or Stan Hyatt. I can't remember. It was back in 2011. Um, and I remember walking into, it was a big country mansion and walking into the kitchen and the kitchen literally looked like this. They did have a ladder that was attached that they could go up and get their serving dishes and china and there's, there's silver bowls and it was quite amazing. Um, so I may cut that out and put it in my scrapbook with all those photos that we that I have yet to put on those pages. I love this. She's holding the big, the big uh, duster. So this is a fun book. And in the back, there are some garden. This is all about the garden. And there's some really fun illustrations back here look at these little gals with the flowers look at that tulip wonderful little poem to go with it here you have a couple Edwardian ladies out amongst the garden with their large flowers look at these images carrying the big potted palm. Fun, fun, fun. 
So this is going to be a very fun book to work out of. And again, if you're doing a, a gardening journal, you have all of your tools here. That would be fun to put as a border up at the top of your journal. And then all your working tools laid out there. I love this with the, the book with the different, the tennis court, the croquet. It's fun. So I definitely wanted to show you this. This is Beyond the Garden Wall. There's one of those sycamore trees casting shade on the lady. So yeah, so this is a fun book. Can do a lot with this in here. So that's the Sweet Life Reflections of Home and Garden by Laura Stoddart. And then I got this, I picked this gardening book up. Um, this is a complete book of gardening. And uh, oh, it just says edited by Leonard Barron. And this would actually, this cover would make a real pretty, um, if I were to turn this into a junk journal, it has an embossed picture on the front here. I don't know if you can see it with the lighting, but it has a, it looks like a door and a uh, vine up over a balcony. And this, uh, this was $4. And this, I, I do like the black and white photos um, in the sketches. So I was drawn to that, all of these. Um, I thought they were cool. These would be really fun to do a uh, postcard collages with. But I liked the paper in this. Um, it's old. I'm trying to think. Let's see what year this is. 1939. Um, it's almost like a silky. It's a, it's a silky uh, paper. It has a really nice feel to it. So I got this to also use the wording, um, these pages to rip and tear on tags and things. But again, it has, I think it has wonderful illustrations in here um, that can be used in fun collages. This would be a lot of fun to use. So Always keep that in mind if you're, um, if you need uh, wording for your tags or whatever. And again, I just I love the paper in this. It's soft and silky, and and then these three I'm not going to. I'm going to put these away. I, I really have a soft spot for the basic readers. And this bookstore was absolutely humongous. Um, this used bookstore, and I found these. Up on the third floor they had a whole section of education uh, I think drafting and drawing um, one was I think mechanical drawing then they had language and then they had um, education and I just stumbled upon these they were these were kind of tucked down on the bottom next to one of the beams so I'm not going to cut these. I, I really, I do have this one that I have two of these, one in soft and one in hard, and I've taken a lot out of it. But this is in wonderful condition. And I'm going to hang on to this. This was $5 um, for my future grandchildren that I can read to. And they can practice their reading in. But this one particular book is wonderful. And like I said, I have two. And um, they're both pretty mangled, but this is in such wonderful condition. I bought that one there. And then this one, I had never, I had never seen this one, um, Making Storybook Friends. I've just, I've never seen, I know there's a lot of gals on Instagram that post these books for sale. But again, I've never, I've just never seen this one. This one I, I purchased for $4, probably because the front, page is missing which is fine but the illustrations in here I'm just a sucker for these illustrations um, and this one obviously the front page is gone so it probably had the year in it and I'm not sure 
I don't think the year is anywhere else. Oh, yeah, right here. 1955. Previously copyrighted in 1947. So this, this series is old. So I also um, purchased this one. Again, to set aside, I have a whole collection of these books that I can read to my grandchildren and then they can read. But these are a little bit, these illustrations are a little bit different from what you're used to seeing. And I love all the little farm animals, the barnyard animals. So I got that one. That one was for four. And then the last one I have to show you is the last um, book that I got in the educational section. And this one here was $2, probably because, well, they said torn page 153 and 54, and then the writing, but I don't care. Um, again, the illustrations in here are wonderful, and they're just fun to have. Um, And if I want to, if I find something in this one that I, I would like to cut and make um, some things out of, I can. I mean, it's not, I really like the other ones, but this is a wonderful book as well. But I plan on keeping this to um, read down the road. So, yeah, so that concludes my little outing, Barbie's Big Day Out, I called it. Um, I had a really fun time. And there was two books also I've already put away. One was Franklin's Treasury. I don't know if you're, you know Franklin. He's a little tiny turtle. My boys used to watch him 22, 21 years ago on TV. He's a little turtle. I got the complete book of Franklin. And that was just done through a donation at the library. And then I got a wonderful book, very thick book. Um, it has, it's for a mom to read to her baby. It has all the nursery rhymes in it. But again, it has all of the old, almost like Gerber baby style images. Um, and I, I already have that put away. So thanks for joining in. I wanted to show you these books. And if you have an opportunity, you run across them, um, you know, check them out uh, because they're really, really, really fun books. Oh, and I didn't show you. I mean, I don't have to show you. Um, the Country Diary of an Edwardian Lady. I did ask the gentleman straight away if he had that and he's anything by Edith Holden. And he said, yes, this one here, I paid $8, $8 for. Um, and I don't know if you can get them for $8. I know that on eBay and Instagram. I just saw a girl on Instagram. She sold two of these, each one at $25 each. So um, always check your, your library, your thrift stores, um, even your church uh, thrift shops. Um, you could go there and check. And, uh, you know, of course, your, your used bookstores. So I was happy. I was really happy that I could get this because I do have two other books. I can't cut them. This one, I definitely will cut and do what I want to um, with this one. So, and this is the Edith Holden book. If you've never seen the um, inside of that, this one. I know a lot of people make a lot of ephemera using her pages. So you may only see an envelope made or a tag or something like that. So this is the inside of the book and it does go by months. And, of course, I always start at the back and go forward. I think there's a name for that. I'm not sure what, but I never start at the beginning of a book. I start from the back and go forward. So, so yeah, so I was able to obtain this for um, $8, which I think was, I was very excited about that. So, that's it, my friends. Um, that is all I have to show you today. I will start crafting again probably next week. Uh, today is Tuesday, and I want to finish out the week getting some other stuff done at home and getting organized. So I will see you down the road. I'll see you in my next video, and um, happy crafting, and 
get out and hunt for some books. All right, everybody. Bye-bye.